forklift drivers, they are the backbone of our society. They take medium-sized things from big things, which allows us to unpack them into smaller things. Australia was built on forklifts. What is this bloke doing? Just pick up the wood, mate. Do you even have your forklift ticket or are you lying? Walking around the factory acting like you know how to forklift. You don't know how to forklift. You're butchering all of that wood. Here's a classic forklift fail. This master of forks is lowering a pallet of glass bottles. We can already see the results of his initial attempts. Fuckity fuck fuckaroo. I say walk away, mate. Let the problem marinate and it'll sort itself out in time. Nah. Nah, I don't think it will sort itself out. This hero wants to put his bombed out Mitzi on a trucky truck. He needs to get it to Daz for a service. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. disaster strikes. No new oil filter and windscreen wipers for you. How's this wanker without a forklift ticket going? Still in struggle forest. Come on, I believe in you. Think of forklifting 101. Lift item from one location, drive the long way around and place it in another location. You can do it. Come on. Yes. Come on, bloody hell. Have a look at this lazy bones. He's going full Fahrenheit 451 on a box of books. He thought it'd be more efficient to puncture this box with a forklift instead of throwing them out by hand. Oh, look at him, pouring out of the bottom from the outset. You can hear them crying. The ghosts of Hemingway, Tolkien, J.K. Rowling's career screaming for help. But nah, nah, they're fucked. There's no way this guy has his forklift ticket. It is known. Throwing out a box of books indicates he did not pass the written exam. What have we got here? Oh, a walkie stacker, cousin of the forklift. Three, two, one, lift off destination, fucked. Don't worry, he's okay. Yeah, nah, yeah, he is. He is. His face stopped his body from getting hurt. Meanwhile, at the fish delivery place, we have a three crate combo, which should have been a two crate combo. Oh, that's nasty. You can smell it through the screen. As Marco Polo once said, fish out of water. Cut to a dickwad of Pepsi. Oh no, Pepsi down. Crikey, we've lost a lot of good Pepsi. Whose job is it to clean up? Does a forklift driver need to own it and clean up his or her mess? I'm not familiar with forklift fuck up etiquette. There's a lot I don't like about this video. A forklift's job is to nurture convenience and reliability, not destroy pristine grass. Oh wow, here's a bit of forklift on forklift action. High risk negligence stiffy activated. This is a bad idea, but I can't look away. Actually, I take it back. It's not a bad idea. It's a fucking terrible idea. These forklifts are not compatible together. End the relationship. End it before you kill too many appliances. Alrighty, give us closure. Come on, mate. You got this. Pick up that chunk of wood. Pick it up. Come on. Do what you gotta do. Circle round. Pivot. Fucking hard right. To You're leaving. No, you don't. He's actually leaving. What are you doing? You're trying to knock off early. Go back. Pick up that chunk of wood. Look, come on, look, all the other chunks of wood there are missing it. They need their buddy. Fuck me. Okay, fine. Nah, he's gone. Oh, well, that concludes my forklift video.